Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, again, I'm here at Gresham High School. It's really windy, probably 40 mile an hour gusts, maybe 35 degrees, something like that. So we're back under the grandstands, throwing into the net, which I don't, I don't really mind. I'd rather be in here than out there. Today I've got Kate and Kaysen. Kaysen's brand new. He's had like three th throwing sessions with me so far. Uh, he comes from a football and lacrosse background. And Kate, she is a heptathlete. So she's got a bunch of other events that she works on. Uh, Javelin is probably not her favorite, but she comes out and learns some stuff anyway. So this is the first time I've seen Kate so far this season. Uh, I haven't seen her in probably about six months back uh, in the summertime. So. Fortunately and unfortunately, we're under the cover, but with the number of reps we can get with the uh, weighted ball throws, uh, I think this will be a good start for both of them. alternate. So treat it like a jab. You haven't thrown these weighted balls before, have you? Yeah, I haven't thrown a jab in a while. Okay. Well, today you're probably going to get some pretty good volume. We'll stay with a lighter ball, except for we might do some drills without. Um, and then we might do some drills with some heavier ones. Anyway, so treat it like it's a jab. Lift the hand nice and high and then rock back, rock forward and deliver it to the net. Okay. And this is normal for you. Back, nice long pull. Alright, so on the next round, I want to get your left arm a little bit more active and a little bit less uh, twisting. So right now your arm is kind of right here and you're you're kind of just twisting around. What I want you to do is extend both limbs, okay? Rock back, drop the left arm. And then make sure you're holding that, that left leg. Don't walk through it, okay? So drop the left arm into that left leg and just turn on that left leg. Okay, so reach that left arm out. Okay, you're just gonna drop it down, down to the left side. That's it. Okay, same thing for you. Get that left arm out just a little bit. Then we're just gonna drop down. Remember that orbit we worked on? Left arm. Uh, case and choose that target up a little bit higher. Good. Same thing, Kate. Okay. Choose the target a little bit higher. All right. Are you guys feeling a little bit warmer in the shoulder? Yeah. Okay. So, three-way push-ups. Remember those? Okay. Dive bombers, arm circles. Remember the three-way push-ups? Okay. So regular push-ups. Okay. And then inside push-ups, and then outside. Three reps of each variety. So here's what I want to do. Watching you guys do your warm-up throws, I want to kind of fine-tune things a little bit more, okay? Uh, when you're throwing a, a ball versus a javelin, you get so many more reps with the ball than you do a javelin. And so today I think here's your opportunity to get a lot of really quality reps. But to get there, I want to I want to start you off with something that's a little bit more simplified, rhythmic, something that feels good, and then we'll put a ball in your hand. And we'll start throwing it again. Uh, did we do uh, the the multiple size or the multiple weight balls last time? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think we're gonna do the similar stuff because you just picked it up so so fast. So 
Okay, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to have you guys just um, stand here facing me. Okay, and I, I just want you to do, um, they're simulated throws, but I call them rock and roll throws because you're just rocking back, rocking forward, and then rolling into your throw. So all I want you to do is, in fact, let's get your feet set correctly. So shoulder width apart, take that right foot and drop it back. You should be in a comfortable spot, kind of like you could just go for a run, right? Now from here, arm up nice and high. You're just going to rock back, balance on the back foot, okay? Get both arms out there so you're nice and long. You're just going to step and throw down to the left leg. And back up, do it in reverse, step and throw down to the left leg, and then again in reverse, step, and throw. And then keep going with it. I want to see a nice good rhythm with it. I'll make some adjustments as we go here. Good, same thing, rock back up. I'm gonna go here and then here, okay? Rock back here and then here. And the idea is you're gonna hold that block as soon as you touch that left leg. Okay. So reach out, okay, step, and holds here and you strike, okay? Reach back, step, and strike. Okay, now both of you are gonna be throwing up, so don't get into the habit of throwing down. Make sure that you're striking and you're finishing up high, and then it comes down, touch the left. Okay, so it's nice and high every single time. Good, reach that left arm out. Remember the orbit, left arm comes down towards the left hip, the right arm's gonna follow the same orbit, finish down towards that left hip. Look up on the bleachers there. Find a, find a target. Think that you're throwing up to that, that point. Good. Okay. So... I want to get you guys sliding into your block a little bit more now, okay? So both of you are kind of up the knee bent up here, and then you're stepping down, and then you're striking through. What I want you to do is I want you to sit a little bit lower on the back leg, and I want you to just slide into that left foot, all right? I don't want you to slide way out here. Again, I want you to be in a comfortable stride length, but the idea is instead of coming down onto your block, I want you to slide into the block because the throw is going to get deflected off the block. If you just step down onto the block, there's no deflection. Your body just goes over the top, okay? So we're going to slide into it a little bit. So rock back, slide into that left foot, and then turn on it. So flex that left, that left quad. Slide. So don't bend the knee. Straighten the leg. And slide into it. Okay, rock back and hold that position. Okay, so from there, <laughs> straighten the leg. Straighten the leg, okay? The whole idea is that you're going to slide from that angle into it and then produce your throw. So straighten the leg, slide into it, and turn. And if you get good at it, you should feel your toes got to get shoved to the end of your shoe. slide into it. Okay. So make sure you feel like there's some pretty good solid contact on that left leg. Don't tiptoe into it. In order to hit a good block, your hip needs to be behind your knee and your knee behind your heel. Okay. If you step down and your knee is in front of that heel, you're not going to be able to hold a block. So straighten that leg. Get the hip behind the knee, knee behind the heel. And you gotta feel like there's something solid there. There you go, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be able to feel the toes get shoved to the end of your shoes. Good. Good.
There you go. Good, Kate. Does this feel better, guys? A little bit better? You don't know what feels good? <laughs> well, it, it definitely looks better. Okay, let's add these guys. Like that. Like that. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to stretch that, that band back so you extend the arm a little bit. Okay, and then left arm reaching out this way. You know, step into that block, open up that, or uh, sort of pull that left side just a little bit. So you're going to open up your chest, and then you're going to delay that arm. So you're going to turn your chest, and then when you can't, Delay the arm anymore, or you just let it go. Okay, I think we've done this before, haven't we? Did we do this over at over at Heritage. Yeah. Okay. All right. So grab hold of it up just a little bit here, okay, and you're gonna grab hold of it up here. Okay. That way you've got something to stretch. Okay. Good. Okay, so really fight to pull it back. So you want to extend this arm as much as you can. Good. Remember, your target's going to be up high. Good. Okay. okay, so here, hang on. Hang on to it back here. That way it doesn't slap you as you, as you strike through. Okay, and then here, go this way. This way. Good, extend that arm. Okay, good. All right, make sure that that right foot, you're kind of rolling into it. Get your body rolling into that throw. Okay, slide into that block, roll into the throw. Good, that looks better. Okay, flex that quad. Hold that block right there. Good. Yep, this looks much better. Remember, your target's going to be up higher. Good. Good. Yeah, more. Please be being. Try and keep that hand as far away from your head as you possibly can until you just can't do it any longer. And then let it slide through. Nice. This looks so much better than the warm-ups. All right, you guys ready to turn these into some throws? Yeah? Okay. Sure, yeah, yeah, might as well. You're here. I mean, might as well. Okay, so grab your uh, weighted ball. All right, so same concept. I want you guys to take turns. Same concept, though. Nice and long. Imagine stretching that arm back. Okay, solid block. Turn into your throw. All right. The resulting throw, I don't care about. I'm mostly concerned about what it looked like in the drill form and now changing positions with the ball in your hand. Okay, I well, wanted to kind of match be pretty much the same. Good. All right, so as you throw, to keep you from twisting backwards, all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that arm and lock it right here. Okay, so rock back. Okay. See the difference? Yeah. Yeah, if it flails behind you, you're going to start twisting a lot, you're going to be off balance. So lock it down to that left side. I want to get your arm extended a little bit more. Get it out here a little bit. Let that left arm get active. There you go. Good. Same thing. So reach out. I'm just going to lock it in the left. I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And until I see you next time, have fun. 
and throw far.